Alright, let's learn how to make an origami shofar. The first thing you want to do is you want to turn your piece of paper so that it's diamond shaped. And then you need to get a crease here in the middle. So in order to do that, you want to fold it in half. So you create a triangle, press down on that crease there, and then you can unfold it after that. You should now have a crease down the center. Again, don't worry if it is not perfectly in the center. Next thing you want to do is you want to take the right side of your diamond and you want this edge here to meet the middle of your diamond. So I'm just going to fold it in so that it touches that straight edge and then I'm going to press down and I'm going to do the same thing with the left side of my paper. It should meet that center fold there and press down. Now you can see I've got some space here at the top. That's totally fine. Don't worry about it if they don't meet perfectly. I'm going to do that step again now. So again, I'm taking the right side and I want this edge to be straight against the middle crease. And press down to flatten the edge. I'm going to do the same thing on the left side. And press down. The next thing we want to do is we want to take this extra piece of triangle that we've got at the end here and we want to fold that up so that we have a flat edge along the bottom of our piece of paper like so. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create pleats. In order to do that we want to start by actually folding down the the top little tip of our triangle here Maybe about a quarter or a half of your finger's length is fine. It doesn't have to be exact. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create pleats for our shofar. So what you want to do is you want to sort of pick a spot, maybe about up to your knuckle, let's say, or even half a finger, and you want to fold your piece of paper down and over, leaving a bit of space underneath here. So you can see if I turn it over, that's how much I've folded it. So again, I just folded it over. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it back up. But we don't want to fold it up exactly because then we just kind of ruined what we've just done. So what we're going to do is about halfway in between uh, the fold we just make, made, we're going to fold it back upwards, like so. Okay, and you have a little jump there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do that whole thing again. So pick another spot, maybe half a finger up from the last spot, and we're going to fold down our piece of paper. And then about halfway up from that last little level we created, we can fold that back up again. And we can do that one more time. Fold down. We don't have a lot of room now left, but that's okay. And then we're going to fold back up. So you've done that three times. You've created three little sections. One, two, and three. Now we're ready to turn this over. So let's turn our piece of paper over. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually fold this whole piece in half, almost like a hot dog bun. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that crease that I made at the beginning to help me fold. All right. The next thing we need to do is we need to curve this piece of paper so that it looks like a shofar. So I'm going to pull on that smallest section there until it just sort of curves out a little bit. And you'll notice the paper kind of unfolding, and that's okay. You can refold it with the curve. And then I'm going to take that little second layer there, and I'm going to pull it out from this third layer. And again, you can see the paper sort of unrolls a little bit. That's okay. That's how we're creating our curve. And press down. And then I'm going to do that one more time with the last piece. I'm pulling this piece away and pressing down, and here I have my origami shofar.